Hey guys, Dave here with Silver Diamond. Today we're going to take a look at the bins and I get a lot of questions on when, when do you split your bins. So right now we're going to take a look at some of these bins and mine are all staggered in different uh, stages. I am show you what I look for and, uh, and when I know it's about time to split. And also, number one things, how to keep good track and uh, check on the moisture on the these things so we'll we'll take a look at this bin here we're going to check it out this is one that's been done recently okay i don't got very much uh going on up top these worms are still down there munching on the leaves and uh, stuff that i mixed into bedding and also notice how full it is you know right up there with the top of some spots now we'll come down to this bed and just look at all them look at all them going to town on that on that food but i put this food out yesterday so they're not tearing it up too awful much we're not really ready to swap that one out anytime soon these guys here they're just starting starting to uh, get into that food that's on top there and that's what you really want to start seeing and this uh this bin it's you know it's starting to get compressed down and uh them leaves are starting to get turned to poop now here's another one that's just been done too and just see there's just a little bit of they're just really just barely starting to get up to that food i want you to look at this is really you know it's really dry on top and it's even pretty dry on the edges if you want to keep these worms happy you know this needs to be uh, moist from front to back and i'm as bad about as on the back side I usually spray and then that back edge winds up being the driest point, which all I gotta do is really come around to the center side, but I get lazy sometimes. Now this being here, guys look at that. Just look at them. Now I put that same amount of food out yesterday as I did on the second one we looked at, and these guys have they've already just about devoured it. And look how thin it's uh the bedding is getting. It's getting really really compressed down this is about time to split these uh guys up and if you don't it's not a super big deal but you're just gonna have to feed them every day now them are all red wigglers now let's look at the uh the euros there's a few in there but and this this one here is about the exact same i just i've already just redone it these guys ain't tearing that food up too much actually i don't even feed them a whole lot Now that's plenty of food for them. So anyway, that's just a quick video, guys. The uh, different stages of the worm bins, and I don't like to uh, harvest all my castings at one time. For one, it's a little bit of work, and when you start doing eight or ten of these uh, uh, bins all at one time, it turns into a good half a day uh, of work. Doing one bin, you know, you can knock it out in a half hour or so. That's about what I what I like, and that's the reason I do it. But just keep those things in mind. Keep the water. When you think you've watered them too much, it probably still needs more. I got eight bins. This is what I use every day, just for the eight bins. And it still winds up being on the dryer side. That's about all I got on this video, guys. Thanks, God bless, have a great day, and keep them bedding moist.